Welcome back everyone. The holidays are the perfect time to bond as a family, enjoy quality time with loved ones, and of course spend money. But a large number of U.S. couples aren't seeing eye to eye on the holiday spending front. In fact, according to a new survey, 30% don't agree on a holiday spending limit ahead of time, which causes big problems. Something tells me that number is a lot higher. 30% doesn't seem that bad. Okay, joining me to weigh in on this, Kara Kinnear, attorney and comedian, owner of the Punchline Comedy Club, Jamie Bendel, and author Beth Carey. Yes. Yay. Hello, friends. I feel like I'm hey. the yeah. gang hasn't been all together. Yeah. It's like the Real Talk Christmas party. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. It is. Yeah. All right, so eggnog. hold on. Does it surprise you to hear that a third of couples don't send uh, set holiday spending limits? And to you with your partner. Carol, I'll start with you. Um, no, because my husband has no idea who needs a gift, when they need it, or the budget. So, so you do yeah, all of it. I do all of it. Oh. I really do. And then he takes care of his work um, colleagues. Like, that's separate. So Got I just it. let him do his thing on that, and then I do everything else. Can I ask you? It's very stressful. I'm stressed. You, what, yes. you actually, we were chatting yesterday. Uh -huh. You buy, I'm going to say it right now, for too many people. <laughs> She okay. buys for like I every do. extended. I mean, I've had a cut. When you start doing the right. cousins and the this, like yeah. you, that is they stressful married, and expensive. Yeah. I know. Cara. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my husband has a large, large family. So okay. So if you get the bill in January and you're writing a big check, yeah. Then does he go? Well, Kara. No. No. <laughs> he wow. has no idea. He has no idea because he has like no concept of like I. I do all of it. Yeah. I do all well, of he it. must trust you. He must trust yeah. you. Yes. You know. You know what's within your parameters, sure. and yeah. and if he doesn't, you know, if he starts to criticize, then you're yeah, going to you, say, "Well, then you do it." Right. Yeah. If you he know? criticizes, well, first thing, we're cutting the list. Yeah, yeah. Right. cutting the list. Right. 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 You're mostly yes. 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 Now, what right. would you say, oh, Beth? How important so is it to be on the same page? I imagine. I mean, you know, money is at the root of, uh, unfortunately, all evil. All yeah. evil yeah. Divorces. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I would think you can't you can, you can't be deceptive when it comes to this. Right. I think it is important, and I think it. As your income level increases, maybe you don't have to be as much on the same page, but if you're on a limited budget to start with, you know, oh, you're yeah. starting out as husband and wife, you've got small children, you really need to be on the same page on all financial things, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, um, you know, and my husband and I, we talk about how much to spend on the kids, and then I always go over, and then I come back and say, I went over, and he's like, it's okay. Aww. So, he so that's knows. good. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's good, but um, we we talk about a range. A range. Right. Range. My a range. Right. Yeah. A range. Yeah, being Even the, now, between this number and that number? Yeah. Is it possible yes. to be? Yes. Yeah. Right. But what do you, Jamie, how are you guys well, on the same page? Well, we are on the same page, good. and it is the visa bill that comes once a month, uh, and we sometimes disagree about how we got there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that that is, and, you know, we are thankfully in that wonderful era of marriage where uh, appliances, our Christmas gifts. Yeah. Let's get yeah. each other yeah. a new air right. conditioner. And you're yeah. not insulted. Yeah. You know what we need? Yeah, some new we 54. Need a, yeah. yeah, right. So, uh, you know, it's easy to, uh, and I have, and I kind of admittedly, I've, as we've been married longer and we've been together, I'll, I will get like an item from the store that I know she likes, yeah. plus a gift card back to the store. Because I feel like I'm at the age where I just, Smart. you know, sure. oh, you're, just you're old enough yeah, to pick out your enough. own stuff. Oh. Now, <laughs> let me ask you, would you be mad if you found out that your mm. spouse or partner fibbed about how much they spent? Not if you spent an extra on me. Right. Not like if you spent yeah. it on yeah, me. Good That's point. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I just remember my I mom would. would always buy things, and then she'd be like, don't tell your dad. And that then the first thing I'd question. do would be like, mom bought 10 chairs. My dad would be like, what? what? Right. Yeah. And right. she's like, right, Kara, yeah. zip yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I, don't, I think that if you, if you are finding yourself trying to get to the mailbox first, so you can pull the bill I've been through that. out, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's probably the first sign yeah. that yeah. maybe you should have a little bit of a chit chat. Yes. Yeah. Also, like my dad right. was going to see all those chairs. I'm of just course saying. he like, was. If you buy of ten course. chairs, they didn't figure it out. You guys right. slowly introduce <laughs> yeah. them one at a time. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. Right. This Here we go. Weird. Now this we just got that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we yeah. have ten of these? Now listen. Twenty-eight percent of people say they spend more on themselves during the holiday season. I'd love to see a show of hands here. What do you think? Then on your spouse. 
Okay, can I can I go first on this? Yeah. Uh, I shop for myself a lot during the holiday season because of the great sales. Because of the great sales, I know. right? I, know. I mean, I okay. discipline myself all year long. I and go without. Wait, and then you splurge. Uh, and then I and then I and say, and I, you don't have to shop for me because I know you're busy shopping for all the other people. Right. Okay, so then do you wrap up what you bought in December and then put it under the tree and say this is what <laughs> or you got? Or just me? go right in your right. closet? Right. Right. right in. We actually had. Re I it was miscommunication. I, there was something I liked, and I said I would like to get this. Uh, can I get this for myself for Christmas? And she says, yeah, that would be great. And then it arrived, and she said, why did you buy this? And I says, we sat there together <laughs> and yeah. said we are going to do this. And she yeah. said, I've already right. shipped right. this to, we're going to Vermont for Christmas. Yeah. She's like, I oh. shipped oh, the same, she, I no, bought it. No, it's like it. the guy who got the hairbrush, yeah. but his yeah. wife got the hair. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. No, it's exactly like that. No, never mind. Because but I do think do it's, that. you know, yes. if you, you don't want to ruin <laughs> Christmas by picking a fight over money. Right, You know, because right. we're not on the same page. Exactly. And we're trying to work for those things. And Jim is such a stickler. I've talked about it many times. I mean, he is. Clark Howard's, you know, rather separated at birth. He <laughs> found out that I had a little more than he thought on a on a store card. And he's like, rip it up right now. That check, you're paying it all off. That is sinful, the interest. And he's like, that is sinful. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, he, he values financial fidelity as sure, much as. Right. I mean, because he feels like it is deceitful right. if, you're, if you're not on the same page. Like, absolutely, 100%, there's one card, you know, we don't we don't do right. this frivolous spending and have a sax card and an Eamon's card. It's a waste unless yeah. you're paying it off in the month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. what do you think Most about people, that? You know, money is the number one thing right. at the root of a lot of divorces. The majority of divorces. So you do need to be on the same page and you do need you know, you need to talk about it. And my when when we were younger we had if we were gonna spend individually more than a hundred per a hundred dollars mm -hmm. on anything. Sure. We had to talk to our, our partner about that. Right now, as we've gotten older, that number has you know inflation right. yeah, as well yeah. as our right, income right. has increased. Yeah. That number has gone up. So now it's more like if you're going to spend more than five hundred dollars on a single sure. item, you need you're to have that right. conversation right. Right. for now, dinner. See, uh, Jim doesn't it's, do that, so know, it's funny. But I always feel like I have to do that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. not really fair. It's a double standard. Well, it and we've always double. had a two-income family. <laughs> yeah, so we as have long to. as you know, okay, his He's income was a lot bigger than mine. Yes, but. Still. Well, right. but I think if you were to say, listen, let's be more reasonable with each other this year, right. and you set some cap and you say, let's only right. agree to spend this amount, right. and then you try to work in that, it is a little bit of good faith because uh, if I would have gone overboard if you'd allowed me to, and sure. it's not fair, right. you know, it can mm -hmm. be, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not saying it is in every relationship, but there are sometimes in relationships those sort of passive aggressive things where you go, <laughs> let's both agree to spend X amount of dollars on each other, and then one goes way over and goes, see, look at how much more I yeah. really care right. about you. Yeah. Oh, God. You should have uh -huh. gone, I didn't really mean for you to, right. to, not, to what, be, right. live by the limit. And Jim has said this too, when the person says, let's do no gifts, we did this for our anniversary. Yeah. And I didn't get a gift, and then he's like, we're going to New York, which was a very sweet trip and very ni nice gesture, right. but I'm, but he doesn't like gifts anyway. Right. So, and he figures that was a gift for both of us. Well, think about, I mean, I'm, I was just, while we were talking, I was trying to think of the gifts that I really remember, and there are very few gifts that I really even remember. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember giving a much more, like if I got something that really excited me to give to someone, like yes. that gets me fired up, but I really can't remember anything that I was like, oh, I loved it so much. That I was mean, an just object. cherish there each other, was, I guess. There was, a, I read an article uh, yesterday, and it was talking about the fact that something like 70% of gifts, particularly toys that are given at this time of year, are untouched 60 days after they're given. I don't like know. The, I hear like that. the oh. like the fall off rate is just incredible. So it's it really um, yeah. so I think when you it's go back to too what, much is, stuff. what is what is the much stuff. Yeah, right. yeah we got to get back to this to the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. I love that. We want you to continue weighing in on our Facebook page. Do you set limits? Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And we come back. Mm. Perfect presents for your pet. Ooh. <laughs>